Hi, everyone. My name is Dolores. I am the office manager at CNIS. And with the help of uh, CNIS's wonderful live streaming volunteer, Mr. Chris Morrison, I'm going to introduce you to setting up a YouTube channel. And Chris is going to introduce you to live streaming through Zoom during the CNIS post-conference workshop. So first off, what is YouTube? YouTube is basically an online platform which allows users to upload, watch, and share videos. It's been around since 2005. It's owned by Google, which we'll get to in just a moment's time. But if you're anything like CNIS, you will find it extremely useful in getting your message out there. For example, one of the purposes for which we've used it is to upload the filming of our digital um, surgical skills courses. So far, we've uploaded expert thinking, and we hope to use YouTube much more in the future to allow anybody with a uh, internet connection to watch the course. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to youtube.com and then migrate to the top right hand corner where you'll see a blue button that says sign in, which is shown by the arrow in the first image on this slide. If you don't already have a Google account, you will have to create one. For the purposes of this workshop, I'm going to use my personal Gmail account. So once you've signed into your Gmail account or created a new one, if you didn't have one already, you will automatically be redirected back to YouTube, but with your Gmail profile activated. Again, migrate to the top right hand corner and click on the icon, which will most likely be of the first letter of your first name. And in the drop down menu, click the first option, which says your channel here depicted with an arrow in image three. You will then be taken to the page shown in image four. Then click on the first blue button of the two blue buttons in the top right hand area, which says customize channel. You will then be taken to the page shown in image five here, which is really where all of the magic happens, where you can really customize your channel. So for example, if you go to branding, you can change the image of your channel. If you go to basic info, you can change the name of your channel. In the left side, you can see a uh, menu. You can also create playlists for your videos after you've posted them in content. So at that point, it's really up to you to get creative and have fun and start uploading videos. And as you can see, this is what CNIS's channel looks like. So you can tell that we've been uploading lots of videos in the last few months. We've tried to put up some informative thumbnails to uh, adequately show the viewer what they're about to watch. We've created playlists that will organize the videos by theme. When you click on a video, you can also see in the bottom that we have a description of the video. So if you want to see more, please feel free to visit our YouTube channel and be sure to like, share and subscribe. We hope that this short presentation has been informative for you. So you want to set up a Zoom account. Let's take a look at setting up a Zoom account. First things first, you're going to want to download the Zoom app. Once you have the Zoom app downloaded, you are going to want to create your account. You're going to enter your first name, your last name, and your email address. From there, you can add a photo of yourself. And you can also arrange your contacts by simply clicking on contacts and the plus sign. When you're in the home screen, you're going to see the option to start a new meeting. Once you click the new meeting, you're going to be taken to your meeting room where you're going to join with computer audio. See recording and what is happening is Zoom is recording your meeting. If you don't want Zoom to record, you can simply press pause or you can stop the recording altogether. If you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you'll see options for muting or stopping the video. By clicking mute, 
That's muting yourself from the meeting so that nobody can hear you. If you click stop video, that stops yourself from being shown on the Zoom meeting. If you scroll along the bottom, you will see security and you'll see participants. If you click on participants, you can see all the participants in your meeting. If you've forgotten to add somebody to the meeting, you can click the arrow and invite anybody that you've forgotten to add to the meeting, either from your contact list or by simply adding in their email. If you continue to scroll along the bottom, you will see the option for chat. And if you click on that, that takes you to the chat room where you can chat with the people in your meeting. You can also share links and photos. If you continue to scroll along the bottom of the screen, you'll see the option for share screen. And by clicking on share screen, you are sharing your screen with everybody in your meeting. Let's say you're working on a video, a PowerPoint, or an Excel sheet that you want people to see, you will share your screen. If you continue to scroll along, you'll see the end button. And by clicking on end, you can end the meeting for everybody, or you can just leave the meeting yourself. Let's take a look at some of the options in Zoom. The main option is in recording. And if you click on recording, you will see the option to optimize for third party video. By selecting that option, you are going to optimize the video for editing at a later date. A lot of your options in terms of video and audio are set and you shouldn't really need to tinker with them. The only time you will ever have to tinker with these options is if you need to change them for a microphone or a headset or an external video. But for the basic settings, these will work just fine. And that has been setting up a Zoom account. Thank you very much.